Africa in the next three years. Seth, do you want to tell us more about it? The next three years is pretty quick, but we're going to do a lot of things. I work at a place called Oregon National Laboratory, which is outside of Chicago. It's the Department of Energy National Lab. We are working on ways to make better thin film solar collectors using a technology called atomic layer deposition, which should give us much higher performance. We are working on ways to make production of ethanol more energy efficient. Can we use membranes to recover the ethanol rather than distillation, decrease the amount of energy required to make biofuels? We're working with um, people from our biosciences. Can we make totally new organisms that use sunlight and make only a molecule that would be ready to be a biofuel? Not make something that has to be fermented, make something that could be used with very limited conversion. We have a name for that. We're going to call that our green blood cell. The green blood cell will basically just be a little bag of the biofuel. Mm -hmm. How are we going to do that? We can't tell you yet because we don't know. <laughs> Thank you. And I have actually another question for you. Um, is it going to be shovel ready? Is this, is this biofuel going to be in mass production anytime soon? Our, our energy efficient technologies is, we're actually at the point where we're looking at deployment of the stuff. The other stuff, when, when I joke about green blood cells, those would be a few years away. But our, our improving energy efficiency, they are shovel ready projects. We're ready to go. We're looking to get the projects funded. We've done it through the bench and pilot scale. We want to scale it up, get it out in the field, and get it deployed. Mm -hmm. That sounds really great. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you.